different area of my bathroom. The lighting is not as good as like the natural sunlight, I know. But this is an impromptu video, honey, because I went to Sapphire, browsing around, looking, seeing what took out of me. You know what? Took out my genitals, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, I got um not a lot of things because I'm going to Ulta after I film this. I'm going to Ulta to buy more things, but. I got the Sephora Micro Smooth. Um, the color I got is tan. I got this because obviously it looks Ashley. I'm gonna try that out. I got the Fenty Pro Concealer. I tried the foundation. The formula is good because my skin's oily, but something about it just shows all of the texture on my skin and I wasn't having it. So I'm trying to get my skin in check before I get the foundation. So I wanted to try the concealer. I got my highlight shade and then I got a contour shade. Well, I think it's a contour shade, it's 480. Um, I let the lady pick it out for me. And then I got, well, this isn't really important. It's just, a, it's just a cream eyeshadow. And then I got the Fenty Beauty Sponge because I'm on a quest to try all beauty sponges and all beauty applications all beauty sponges and all beauty appliques till I find my true, what you love, my OG, you know, my one and only. So, probably, I might come to a vlog because I feel like I'm not, all I'm going to show you is like me using this stuff, that's it. So I think I'm just going to kind of fit into a vlog and you're going to come with me when I take my raggedy ass to Ulta. So... Let's get it. Oh. Holy shoot. I've been up for years. I never sleep. Oh, oh I don't need to sleep. Oh. <clears throat> this is my top This is 480, I think. Yep. And I'm thinking to myself, I wonder if I went through like the intro too fast. Okay. Well, this was on YouTube where I watched Jackie Ina's her old video. She was mentioning the concealers and how like she washed the foundations without the concealers. And I was like, hmm, does that mean that the concealers will work for my skin? They won't expose me and show like how horrible my skin is. So. Currently doing the damn baking thing. Oh, I'm not actually. I haven't really started baking. I just said it. And then. Do they need? today. I don't even know. I don't even go to go brush for the head. Oh shit. I need to say brush. Yeah, I definitely need new brushes. Out the powders. We're going to do my Sephora Micro Super Tan. My first time using. She didn't like that. Whoa. Oh, that's a good guy. Don't know if it's monumental, not sure. We're gonna go smooth terminal. Morphe M Sport M go up. M five fourteen. I did this, uh, it's my tutorial. 
Go back in with guilt, actually with guilt stripping comb and mouth. We love, love. Fenty sponge and concealers. The best. Uh, the micro smooth. My complexion looks nice, but I feel like it's too light for me or something i'm not sure maybe it's just looking like that because i'm in the bathroom but she's choosing i don't know they're eight ninety nine. i'm not proud of how much money was just spent not proud at all hello it's the next day when i went to ulta last night there was just a large amount of people there, more than I would expect at the time of night that I went. And it was hectic and I couldn't film as much as I wanted to. So, what I'm here to give you is another mini haul. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna section everything out so you don't have to hear all the rifling of the bag. So, first things first, I'm gonna do skin type of stuff and then I'll do makeup type of stuff. So, I re-got my Mario Badescu spray. Every time I go to Ulta, they never have the full size available. It's always it's always out of stock. The thing I got, which I already opened, is the Smith Rosebud Balm for your lips. Um, so far, it has a really nice smell. Like, it's... I'm a fan. Like, it reminds me of, like baby oil yeah look like baby oil love that brand brand recover e cucumber eye patches smooth and replenish i also got this eco i also got this eco tools facial brush i got this brush because i used to have one of those brushes but i broke it so i wanted to see if it was the same I'm going to show you the two palettes I got. I got one from Catrice, which is a brand that I wanted to try for a little bit, but I was never able to find it in stores, and I wanted to, like, swatch it myself and check it out myself. So, luckily, my Ulta upgraded, so I got the Catrice Paradise Desert Palette. The Makeup Revolution, so, uh, don't know if this is new. I don't know anything about this palette. I just saw it in, like, the colors, so this. I was digging the little, this whole, this section over here. I'm trying to learn how to blend with those because I'm not the, I'm not the best when it comes to blending with browns for some reason. Because I just get really excited when it comes to doing my makeup. So like I don't completely blend things out and I add the next color and the other color underneath it wasn't blended. So then I end up mixing together and then like either it's like muddy or it just makes the color that I really wasn't trying to make over. I also got something that I'm kind of excited about is from Flower Beauty, which is Drew Barrymore's cosmetic brand. These pop the yellow, pink, and blue. I swatched the blue in the other clip, and needless to say, she's the pigmented. Then just some not really exciting things. Mascara, Essence Mascara. I got the Essence Long Lasting 
eye pencil in this nice blue color. And I got an LA Girl Lippy in the color Teddy. They would find these in store. I got the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealers. I've wanted to try them for five ever. I got tan just because I was watching another YouTube video and they said that tan was their color and I felt like they were close, like reference color for me. So I got tan and caramel. I think caramel might be my color on like a natural day, sis, because this is not like a highlight situation. This is And the last thing is the Bro Techniques Blush Plus Bronzer Brush. Cute. One, extremely soft, like, that is all that I got yesterday. Before we click out of the video, there's three things that I need you to do. I need you to like, comment, and subscribe so I can make more content. And I know what you guys are interested in, so I'm not making these writing videos for no reason, wasting my time and the money. So, until anyone tells me what they want, I'm just going to keep doing what so I want. I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Hey, I'm